this is where we're going. And he wants to take this screw off to, oh, and the one in the back, if you can see. One in the front is no problem, it's one in the yeah. back. Because that will take the lid off the carburetor box so that we can clean it. Clean it well. Okay. So that's undone. So those are undone. I those might, are loose but not removed. We are loosen this off. That's the line that brings in the diesel. That's all you got to take apart, people. That's it. Your feed line and your two screws. Okay. So that's off. And then the whole top just slides out. Slides out. That is what the inside, over there. the inside of your metering valve or carburetor looks like. Okay, so when you're going to clean this, you're going to need rubber gloves, paper towel, Q-tips, and a needle. And maybe other things, depending on what yours looks like and how dirty and what you've got. a very finicky little bar that slides through a hole here, okay. through a hole right here, through this metal piece, and then the same thing on the other side. The bar fits exactly. <laughs> it will slide out, so just be careful of that. See, it just slides out. It's just a little piece of metal bar. And then that comes out. And this is your needle for your pressure. That you do not want to lose. It goes yeah, in there. Yeah, don't that. want to lose. It goes in here. But if you look, it's dirty. I don't know if there you're going to read that better. Yep. You just, you just want to clean it. This is probably dirt or gunge from... Wherever you got your diesel from. And I'm not using anything fancy. There's no solvents on here. There's no nothing. It's just good old lick the Q-tip and get it clean. Did you... And then here, there's a bit of dirt. See? Mm -hmm. That's all done. And then do the bar. Get a different Q-tip. We just go along the outside we still have to take stuff apart but just go along the outside and clean everything check the spring yeah check the... hence the q-tips yeah don't get carried away with sticking q-tips in there but okay so you're gonna need a half inch wrench and I've been informed you use to go on the top here. Yeah, a top or side. No, it just turns around circles. There you go. Then you just use your fingers. There. You can see so, that Neil had wrapped both ends with uh, white uh, plumber's tape. Thread tape. Thread tape. Nylon thread. Yeah, so this is all that's got to come off, and then we'll do fresh stuff. But you want to clean the threads. Make sure you don't have any of this stuff um, caught in it, residual. Try and keep your hands at the same height. I'm trying to film. Oh, now you know what it's like. There, pretty good. And then just. Go in there and clean it out. Hey, that's clean. Wow. Of how gross it is in there. Let me see. That's pretty gross. We try to do this once a year. Yeah, oh, there's lots of gunk. Can you catch that? 
Mm -hmm. Got it. Screen's starting to look cleaner. Mm, yeah, you can see the screen now. Now don't push down because you'll pop the little metal screen out. I'm not even pushing. I'm just kind of twirling it around. You just want to try to pick up the dirt and the debris. See, it's getting better. Still a little bit. Yeah. So now, oh, here it is. <clears throat> so can you get a shot of the clean screen? You got it. You got it? Okay. So now you can see it's a really fine mesh. That's. This is one of the biggest reasons that these diesel stoves do not work. Yeah. And they don't have any instructions on these. They don't tell you about them or anything when you buy the stove. This is all trial and error over 20 years of playing with these stoves that I found these. Yeah. And found out how to clean them. And if somebody has a better way of cleaning it, let me know. The, this is for our diesel stove. Decker, quiet. But they do have smaller diesel um, heaters. heaters that look more like a bread box on their side. Um, these are the same carburetors. So this will apply for those diesel heaters as well. It's the exact same carburetor. They are numbered. I mean, metering, there is different metering, metering valves. valves. This same. is a D. This is a D for diesel, but I believe the difference is the amount of... Um, flow rate. The flow rate. But I believe that the basic structure of the whole thing is the same so this should apply to those diesel stove or heaters as well as far as cleaning but it's very important when you buy your stove to try and match the carburetor yeah you have to otherwise you won't get it working properly hold it with this finger i am there keep going First now try. tighten it up keep your spool closer you get too far away you got no tension all the way down to the bottom of the threads. It's okay. No further down on the knurl. Go back up. How's that? Looks okay. Okay, I just want to put a hand tight, a little tighter. So, because I have to adjust it to fit on the pipe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, one end is flat, one end is pointy. You ready? Yep. Okay, so yeah. You're going to take the pointy end of your needle, put it in here, and then slide this on this. here. And again, these little slots are going to go in there. So put it up over top and slide it down like that. No, it doesn't, Neil. There. There. So I got first the th through the first one. Aha! Uh -huh. There. So you take your screw, put it back in, and your other one in the back. You will need to twist a little bit to find the right spot. It's important you come down the same. That's going to be 12 millimeter. So you're going to just undo the the tape like we did before. I should be letting Melanie do this while no, I'm putting. I'm terrible at this stuff. And then the so let's watch how to really do this. No. 
Make sure it's going in straight, which it is not. <laughs> it's like my camera work, not straight. We have a helper who's whining. Nine sixteenths wrench. For the bottom. For the bottom one. And you just reconnect it all back up and you're good to go. We're gonna take your pipe, we're gonna find your adjustment. Don't know you that we can probably, go one more. Yeah, you probably could. Try it. I'd like to get one more, bud. Now you gotta line up the pipe with the angle of the fitting. And then find the little nut that find the little down. nut that All fell the down. down to the bottom. There you go. Okay, so you can see how it sits in there. Yeah. See so your joint is sitting nice. Can yeah. you see that? Yeah. Okay, then you... there you go. And that's it. Well, not quite it, but yeah. So now I use your My little crescent wrench. So it's bigger than a three quarter inch wrench, so you gotta use a crescent. It's hard to see a little bit, but. This is a D. You can get a C for kerosene, or you can get um, an S for stove heating fuel. Yeah, so you make sure your carburetor. Our metering valve says D for diesel. If you're running diesel. If you're running diesel. If it's not and you do run diesel, that's part of your problem. Okay. <laughs> Are you talking?